Number 59. Find the net rate of heat transfer by radiation from a skier standing in the shade given the following. She's completely clothed in white. Head to foot, whatever. The clothes have an emissivity of 0.2 and a surface temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. And the surroundings are negative 15 degrees Celsius. And her surface area is 1.6 uh, meters squared. So anytime we're talking about radiation, we're talking about these two formulas. If you're asked to find the net rate of heat, you better be given then two temperatures or, yeah, if you got to find the net, you got to be given two temperatures here. And that's basically what we're going to look to do. We're going to look to use that formula. So this is the net power is going to be equal to the Stefan-Boltzmann constant multiplied by the emissivity of the object that is radiating the heat, uh, multiplied then by the area over which that object is radiating the heat, multiplied then by the temperature, basically difference between the object and its environment. So T2 uh, raised to the fourth minus T1 raised to the fourth. You're only allowed to plug in Kelvin temperatures into both of these problems, okay? So now the net power, I mean, this is actually very nice, right? Because it's literally just a plug-in problem. We're just going to plug stuff in. So the Stefan-Boltzmann constant is 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8. The emissivity, they told us, it's white clothing, so therefore the emissivity is low. Remember, black body, uh, you know, perfectly black body radiation would be, like if you wear black clothing, it would be closer to 1. And then, you know, the whiter it becomes, the uh, more reflective it becomes, and therefore a perfect reflection would actually be 0. All right. Uh, the area is going to be 1.60. And then the temperature differential, remember Kelvin... Okay, it's got to be Kelvin. So uh, what it, it says, net rate of heat transfer. So I'm just going to make sure that this works out to be positive. But you know that the uh, person will be losing the heat and the environment's gaining the heat. How did we know that? Well, because the person's warmer than the environment, right? So the heat goes from hot to cold. So this is going to be, let's first convert the 10 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. So that's going to be 283. And that's raised to the fourth. Then minus now, find the... Um, I got to use the calculator for this, sorry. I just don't want to make a mistake in my head as I'm talking, and I can barely write the numbers down. So, um, yeah. So, this is going to be negative uh, 15 degrees Celsius is 258 Kelvin. So, that's raised to the fourth. And then here we're going to now just calculate. So, 5.6, 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8 multiplied by 0.2 multiplied by 1.6 multiplied by now parentheses 283 raised to the fourth. Then divided by, uh, not divided, but minus 258 raised to the fourth. And here we go. It's about, net power is going to be about 36. Okay, so 36, 36 watts. Not bad, right? And if you notice, the wider, you know, the wider the clothing becomes, the lower this or the better reflector it is, uh, the less then power will be radiated. Okay, if it's, if it's higher, the more. Okay, so if you're skiing, don't wear black, wear white. If you're out in the sun, don't wear black, wear white. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Take care.